I am straight lagging on content this week, guys. Some weeks you, you have time to do it, some weeks you don't. You actually always have time, it's just a matter of actually hitting record, so I'll try to fill up some here in the next couple days, but it's been crazy. We're uh, working clients, got this event popping in London, already some taker, or London and San Diego, already some takers in that, so we're excited putting that together. And we are getting ready to roll out some serious, like outside of, of where we are now in business. Like we're going um, basically into more of a marketing agency. I mean, the calls we're doing and some of the clients are picking up outside of home business, right? So obviously everybody knows that we started in home business. Um, and now we're heading to sports and some other stuff and uh, I couldn't tell you how excited I am. You know, it's, I was on a phone call with somebody yesterday and, and here's what I told them um, was one, my biggest takeaway in the last two years of, of marketing online uh, was that it is everyone in the home-based business niche plays is competing against themselves with with a bunch of killers marketing killers right that's the most competitive niche I think it's the hardest to make money in and uh, if you have success in home-based business online in internet marketing if you use those same skills that you acquired and, and implemented to get that kind of success and you use it outside in different niches, going after different audiences, getting different clients, different targets, you're gonna have an easier time. You're gonna have more success. You know, if you're, you know, say you're a marketer um, and you know how to do funnels and traffic and, and campaigns and write some copy and all that good stuff, right? You're trying to do it and penetrate home business against just beasts, just marketing animals but say you try to you flip that around take that skill create a service-based business and go after small business in your area man you can make a ton of money like and that's the reality guys so understand that these skills that you may have learned for those of you in home-based business you can apply them in other niches and make way more money not saying I would ever you know exit that niche completely but there is more money outside and it's easier. So take that one to the bank. He's out of town till later today. I am totally in cheat mode. Getting a breakfast burrito, way out of control, guys. Don't tell, hopefully you don't see this. Got off a crazy call with a manager of a very big, big name in the UFC. Um, super excited about the potential here. Can't say who it is yet. Can't uh, even talk about fights that they may or may not be in soon kind of thing. But um, it is a very good possibility that we be developing a brand for them and, and working a deal with uh, the Phenom brand side of our business. So very excited. I love that we're literally getting business created and built in like a passion niche. And I guess why that's so important is, I mean, if you're, if you're in, in the, in the weeds, if you're in there in the zone on stuff um, and you absolutely love the content that you're working with, you, you know, you love everything about it. So much easier to do the work. So much easier to do the grind. It's it's just it's a better it's a better situation. So very excited. Can't wait. If we get this deal closed, I think sounds good. Initial initial stages, but if we can get this deal done, um, it's going to be a big one, and I'll be just excited to show you. You know, I could tell you that uh, all business is fun all the time, and you know this is uh, a cakewalk. But there's days like this. You know, this is a Saturday morning, and I've already done a couple calls, and that's cool, but. Now we're dealing with like attorneys and patents and this and that and some multinational, multi-billion dollar corporation we're about to piss off. It's not all, all you know, rainbows and unicorns up in here, no matter what level you're playing at. But uh, it's, it's all the same. You just got to make your best decisions and move forward and, and, and go after it, man. Like, hey, if, if uh, some big Goliath wants to take us on, cool, man. I'll spin that into marketing. We'll see what happens, but uh, you know, there's always going to be problems. I don't care if you're playing at a level where you're making fifty dollars a month, or you're you're making fifty thousand a month. It's always issues. It's just how you deal with them. So, hopefully that helps. Quick little private webinar time. What's up, Eric? Say hello, buddy. Another day in a digital hood, getting it done with my boy Eric. I'm here with Brent, my good buddy Brent Alvin. I like to call him Insta Kid, but he doesn't like it because he thinks I'm he's like old. 30 years old. It doesn't matter, right? He's <laughs> not guys. I think he's 29. Are you really 29? Uh, yeah. Why are you trying I... to date yourself? As you get older, you're not going to want to do that. Two dude. months. You're going to want to be younger. 30, 30. Okay. Yeah. So this guy, some of you may remember him from when we had Insta Treasure Map, and he put out a really awesome course. That's mm -hmm. almost been a year. It's, it's been a while. It's been that long. It's yeah. been like nine, ten months, something like okay. that. So 
first of all, you're going to see his, his young face because he's the Instagram kid mm -hmm. uh, real soon here because we're working on adding his traffic to our Facebook ad service. So it's going to be Facebook and Instagram. YouTube's next, but not yet. Okay, YouTube, awesome. YouTube ads are coming. But this guy is like, he's like the guy behind the guy behind the guy with like Instagram traffic. It's kind of weird because like, you don't even like have a huge business profile that's associated with you for Instagram traffic, but all of these companies pay this guy a lot of money because he pushes crazy traffic. So now he's, a I've been trying to talk this guy into this for <laughs> at least a year, yeah. maybe two of like, hey, let's open up your together. traffic to everyone. Let's, yeah. let's open this platform, let's do this thing. So we got Brett here. Can you tell us why your traffic works and it's better than just paying for ads in Facebook? Or on Instagram? Is that what you're, you're Well, no, I'm saying by, what I mean is, now you can do an ad on Instagram by going in Facebook Ad Manager and buying traffic on Instagram. Oh, for sure. And, and I think it sucks, <clears throat> but why, why is your stuff any better, man? So the thing I kind of noticed with you guys is a sponsored post on Instagram when you're doing it from the Facebook platform. Uh, it looks like it's more set up every time you do an ad for Facebook. Sometimes you guys put links in there and stuff. None of those links ever work on Instagram. It's basically you guys are just wasting money. And at the end of the day, I'm able to use in my network of themed accounts that are the same niches you guys are trying to hit with your guys' products or your personal life, you know. With that, you're able to get thousands of views if you know the right accounts and you get your money's worth out of this deal 10 times fold, you know. And you know what the coolest part for me is, is honestly that the, the, there's no restrictions. Like with Facebook, like you have, you have rules. You, have, you can't have more than 20% text. I get a good one right here. You can't have any of that stuff. It's Instagram. So uh, Instagram, my biggest buyers are uh, mostly marijuana companies because uh, it's basically the wild, wild west on Instagram. And we can post whatever the hell we want on my on our pages. And then... Uh, because you're paying users rather than paying Instagram, right? So that's yeah. the difference. So you're the person that proves the app. I say yay or nay, and if I feel like risking it that day, I post it even if it's risky. <laughs> so it's really what's up. But that, but that's the difference, guys. That's yeah. why this is different. You can leverage offers in, in different ways than, than you can't do in traditional ad buys. Yes. It's almost like an alternative like ad traffic network, which is awesome. And it's, I mean, it just goes viral. Like You said a post from me the other day on my personal Instagram. I have like a thousand people that follow me on Instagram, and I put pictures of my kids swimming and shit, right? Like that's what we're talking about here. The video, I think, oh, we're recording on my phone right. Look, I got it right here. I, I think it's over 190,000, but we can, we can show up. Oh, you want to get pull, yeah, pull up and show All up. right, cool. And that was just with his like and commenting weirdness stuff that he does. I don't even pretend like I totally understand, but he basically toys with the algorithm with these giant millions of follower accounts, which takes your posts and just makes everybody see them. So he's going to pull this up right now. Yep, it's right here. It's super cool, man. 196,000. Pull it up on the camera. Hopefully, you can see that. Let me I'll, I'll walk around and make sure. You guys sure. got to focus maybe a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that's like on my, my regular account. And he did that just, what, a week? Six days? Yeah, that was just us playing around. Uh, uh, we liked and commented it up with about 40 million followers. We ended up spiking it, went crazy. And 40, and million, the... well, 40, million, 40 million people didn't do it. Just your accounts with 40 million followers did it, right? Correct. So, we used multiple accounts. That led up to 40 million altogether. And you can continue to do that for all of our friends. Every day. Because the thing I got is a huge network of other colleagues that I work with on a daily basis. And I'll tell you what, I, I mean, anybody who's been following me for any amount of time knows that I'm like the Facebook ad guy. I, I, I'm like Facebook. Just recently, I've, re I've always known what Brent does on Insta, and I've had some success with Insta, but I'm like figuring out, like, People are more on Insta than they are on Facebook, like especially young people. A bunch of uh, companies that do pay for traffic and for shout outs. I have a company like, it's called Cloud Vape. They pay on the daily, every day. Just what up? It's 4th of July, 6 a.m. And guess what? The, the work doesn't stop. I'm gonna have fun later, uh, you know, with the fam and everything. Got up at six, knocking out some client work, knocking out for a new promo we got going. We have uh, a new webinar we're, we're pushing out. Guess what? This stuff doesn't stop. Like the people that that uh, I see doing the best, um, building the biggest businesses, they're not just shutting down on the fourth, right? Like business just doesn't stop. Because guess what? We're international. UK doesn't care about the fourth. UK probably thinks the fourth sucks, right? Because we. <laughs> but uh, anyways, you know, 
the grind doesn't stop, guys. It's it's a it's a 24/7 365 thing. There's never going to be a time where I don't check my emails or, or respond to messages or do any of that. I mean, that's just the way it is. So if you don't have that kind of hustle in you, then you are in the wrong business.